hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys you know that the nigerian state and the nigerian people especially are a highly religious people i cannot think of people more religious than nigerians and they say god moves in mysterious ways so and also they say that god fights the battle uh for those who are unable to fight for themselves with that setting the tone guys i bring you this former oyo state governor abiola ajimobi reportedly in critical condition due to c19 complications so you recall of course this guy a uh, former governor of uh or your state just uh recently gone replaced by uh shei makende so and the thing that i wanted to uh, highlight and was really making me uh do this uh video you recall that when this guy was in his uh pump uh as the uh governor of uh or your state he did nothing but to prim and um, peacock all over that state uh, attacking the students and telling them that he will shut their school down we're talking about university students by the way who were complaining about uh, uh structures not being in place to facilitate for a good studying environment either their bursaries were not being paid or their schools were being short or whatever it is the the atmosphere was not conducive and students were complaining as students want to do when things are not the way they would have it and this guy then went around telling them that he will shut their schools down and he, he, he was just aggressive and abusive because he was of course uh surrounded by security personnel so this is uh what he did to the student but what really pained me that he did is to uh, a Nigerian, uh, a Yoruba musician called Ayefele. So now this guy is on a wheelchair, but is very popular, uh, very, very gifted artist. So he's a singer and he sings, of course, in Yoruba and is well loved and very successful. So off the back of his success, this Ayefele now, a man in a wheelchair, by the way, and there's nothing wrong with somebody being in a wheelchair. Of course, I mean, it's wrong for him, but that's not really what I'm highlighting. But I'm just making that point to make a greater point that this guy, even though he is in a wheelchair, uh, tapped into the talents that God had given him to elevate himself to a position in life to the point that this guy built a fantastic structure in Ibadan, the, uh, the Oyo State capital, which he then ran a radio station out of. So this IFLM musician guy, he had a radio station which he built and he was sort of transmitting it around about the Oyo State environs, etc. So now this uh, um, constituted authority, as he calls himself, we are talking about Abiola Ajimobi now, because he was the one that came uh, uh, up with that phrase, uh, that I am the constituted of authority. I have a godlike authority over this state. He, he, he was that kind of person who goes around saying that sort of stuff. So, because the, this Ajimobi now felt that a program that was broadcast by this IF, uh, IFLS uh, radio station cast as passions on his person what did the governor of oyo state do he took bulldozers to the station to the building that this guy built to house the station and raised it to the floor this is what he did so this is the kind of element that this guy is so that would then explain the preamble that i started off with uh, of god moving for people who are not able to move for themselves so again the headline former oyo state governor abiola ajimobi reportedly in critical uh, condition due to c19 complications so now let's now see how this has been explained it's just a short little caption really no more than uh, three paragraphs but i think uh my monologue in the uh beginning probably just explains really all the reasons why i am doing this video so i just read you what's there and then we'll, we'll round it off former oyo state governor abiola ajimobi is reportedly in a critical condition over c19 complications ajimobi is reportedly battling the novel virus 
in a hospital in Lagos, according to Sahara reporters. The publication adds that he is in a critical condition. Ajimobi was rushed to a hospital weeks ago after his health conditions deteriorated and has since remained in intensive care. So this is just the case. I mean, uh, the situation, I mean, I think what I started off with, my monologue, is just apt all the way through. Because we had the same thing with Abakari, of course. All of these people that have been looting and looting, and all of that looting, of course, was to insulate them themselves from whatever can come from any quarters or befall them but alas they did not insulate themselves from this because everybody now has to stay in their own home or their own country uh, by that i mean so you can't now fly to the abroad to go and treat your cough and sneeze you have to now get that cough and uh, sneeze treated within the Nigerian space and that of course now means that you then have to contend with what you are asking the people that you have uh, governance over to contend with all the way through. So we saw this with Abakari of course and we saw how that ended. I wish no ill on anybody and I'm not suggesting anything in the direction of this uh, Ajimabi uh, man. But I am just highlighting now how karma is a B-I-T-C-H. So now this is now uh, karma, an element of it now, playing out now. The uh, IFLA narrative, the students, the I am a constituted authority, they're not providing what the nation can afford to cushion and uh, add sucker to the life of Nigerians, all of these things now have come together now to manifest in what we are seeing now playing out with all these so-called so uh, big men. Their private jets are parked at the airport, but then it's not going off the ground because it's not going to land anywhere because they are abroad are saying they don't want to see anybody at the moment. Conversations in the comment section, the constituted authority of your state is in a critical state in Lagos State. What goes around comes around, as they say. So this is it now coming around, or is it? What are your thoughts? Come share them with me in the comment section. But before you do that, click on the red subscribe button so it turns grey. The bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video. Then C19 is now uh, proving to be a social leveler. Come discuss this with me in the comment section. So I'll leave you here. Carry this conversation on within the comment section. But here I say peace.